I think more and more now people see addiction as a developmental disorder. We think about addiction uh, as something that just happens to adults, but in truth is, it really has its roots stemmed in adolescence. That when first, that's when first people, most of the people who become addicted try drugs. For example, if you start uh, using an illicit drug before you're 18, you're 20, you have a chance of, we have a 25% chance of becoming addicted. But if you start using an illicit drug after the age of 21, you only have a 4% chance of becoming addicted. So adolescence is a, is a crucial time for the development of addiction. And I started to become very interested in that because I looked at the effect of nicotine on cocaine. And I found that actually nicotine has a very unique ability to um, basically loosen the DNA. And Eric was talking about gene expression. And when that DNA is loosened, what happens is that when cocaine comes along, then there's a much more massive increase of gene, uh, of gene expression that's related to addiction. And in my research, I started looking at the effect of nicotine specifically on cocaine, and I found that nicotine has this effect that it increases gene expression that's related to addiction. But what I found actually later in adolescence was something very different. I didn't expect that. I thought that nicotine would do that even more so in adolescent. But I found something very different. Because when I looked at the adolescent brain uh, at baseline, I saw that the, gene, the, the DNA was already loosened up in that particular area in the brain, in the nucleus accumbens. So at baseline, the adolescent brain is much more sensitive to the effect of almost any other drug of abuse. And so if you um, expose the adolescent brain to any, any of those drugs, you'll get more of that growth that Eric described, because the DNA is more open, basically open to soaking up new experiences. So this is the compact DNA um, that you see that oftentimes in, in adults. And what I saw in adolescents was something, it was a very different picture. It was something more like that, a much looser DNA. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the gene expression, so the genes that are over there basically can get expressed a lot more in that particular stance when it's more loose.